a lot of you have probably seen the video of the crazy winds coming in this weekend in the Tahoe Basin. So just popping in here with my coworker, meteorologist Rob Carmark, and we're gonna break it down from what we can understand from these waves. Rob, you're a surfer, you're familiar with looking at waves and when it's ideal, mm -hmm. this was not ideal. So uh, you always have to look at how fast the wind speed is, how long it's blowing, but also the distance that the wind is blowing. Tahoe is a lot longer than it is wide, and that's, I think, a big reason why the waves got so big, because when you just look at the wind speeds, 25, 35 mile per hour gusts over a couple hours, it doesn't seem like that's enough to really cause the big waves until you look at what's going on. Okay, when you look at the lake mm -hmm. here, it's a lot longer than it is wide. So right. if you have north winds the whole time, it, that just gives you more and more time for the waves to build, to build, to build, to build, till they get at their biggest at the very end of the lake, the southern end, which is Camp Richardson, South Lake Tahoe, and DL Bliss. Mm -hmm. I think one of the main things that's just very bad luck is that roughly where the boat went down, this is all rocky cliffs right here. Mm -hmm. So if they were to be in the water right. and had no life jacket and had to get to shore quickly, there's not an easy place to get out of the water. So that's a very bad, unfortunate circumstance. And then down to the south here, we had people that went back over to near the Camp Richardson area, mm -hmm. probably see a lot of videos there. Uh, there, it, there are places to get out there. There are, yeah, there's docks, but a lot of them just beach the boat because at right. that point, they just gotta get off the water.